Well, if I can see it in my mind, then I can do it. Just need to carry that through. But there isn't a difference, because if you believe in something bad enough, if you believe in something that much, it becomes real. It's like problem solving. If I don't do this, I'm going to go home and be frustrated. And that's the thing. It's the only way to really take your frustration out and to not be frustrated is to get rid of what you're frustrated at. It's like with parkour that you're constantly pushing beyond your limitations that you get to a point where you almost have no limitation. Mentally. ultimate sort of um, thing in parkour which we look for as Tris says parkour practitioners the ultimate thing is to be completely free in your mind the highest obstacles I have climbed are in my mind I think parkour is a mental discipline and it's almost a physical second because there, there comes these points where you know you can physically do it but you have to kind of cross over to the other side of doing it as opposed to just believing it. And it's not just one thing, it's like a process that we go through in our mind. As far as I'm concerned, there is no physical pro process. It's all mental. I remember one time I had the most, the strangest way of overcoming a mental block. When you're scared, effectively you start slowing down. But I just kept on running, running, and while I was running I said, well no, I'm not going to slow down, I'm not going to slow down. There's a madman with an axe behind me and everything I've ever wanted in life on the other side of this wall. So I just keep on running. You've taken your frustration and you transferred it into action. everything that I've ever wanted out of my life prior to parkour, which I didn't believe in because I was pessimistic, I'm now chasing because I have a more uh, positive view on life.